we have arrived. Yep. Mile and a quarter from the land. It's a long way. Woo! bed for the night. It's massive. You don't... Yeah, I mean the scale of it, it's obviously big, but I don't feel like you really oh, comprehend the size of it until you're here. There we go. Oh! Go first impressions. I'm a lucky man. So, as I say, the fridge there, it's got the biggest fridge in the world. All the other water that you see from the tap there is not drinkable, it's just purely used for doing washing up and doing the dishes and things. Um, so, the stairs here, so this first. You can watch your head if you're taking a rough suck up there, watch as you get to the top. Um, down below here, underneath the hatch, they've got your two powder, your two powder rooms. And you used to have a garrison of about 30 people out here apparently. See our sleeping quarters? We've even got reading lights above the bed. Fancy. They've got solar panels on the roof and they've got a bunch of stuff. Wow. Yeah, no, that's right. It's basically compared. Like Rocco Tower, we've been done out to almost sort of three, four star. It's really like Hampton almost. Oh, wow. Try to keep this as close as they can. Yeah, definitely. It's cosy. I like it. Look at the, we've got reading lights on the beds. Toilet-wise, um, the recommendation really is keep yourself around the rocks at the low tide and stuff, but there is a chemical toilet up there, you can use it. But if you do use it, you can have about three or four peas in it, then you need to close the bag up and replace it and take it back to shore with you. There'll be a, a dirty bag down below, the bags are sealed, and just put it in the bag and we take it back to shore with us. And it does work quite okay. Mm -hmm. What's up there then? I didn't think you could go on the roof. Oh, the throne. <laughs> there she is. Look at that view. There you go. He's solar powered. 21st century. So here we are, staying at the tower for one night. There's seven of us here and a guide. You have to stay with a guide for safety reasons because um, the tide fully surrounds the, uh, the tower twice a day with each high tide. So they don't really just let anyone come and stay out here. Otherwise, there'd probably be a few incidents, so yeah, we've just arrived now, we arrived about an hour ago, but three, and we're here for pretty much 24 hours until three tomorrow, so yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> just going for a bit of a, a wander around at low tide, so this is the lowest the tide will be during our stay probably. So we're just going to go and check out what's around us. The remains of a old lobster fight, it looks like. It's been here for a long, long, long time. It's like, yeah, that rock's kind of holding it in. Try and give you a perspective of how far away we are from 
the land. So we've got with us a few fishing rods, so when the tide comes in later this evening, we'll um, have a little bit of a flick around and see if we could, um, yeah, hook into a couple bass, maybe it would be good. But the water's so clear here, as you can see, it'll probably be pretty difficult. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some good fun. So stick around. Hope you enjoy it. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, wow, I see that last face. People so quick. Look at that chaos. Okay. This is the tide coming in now. At 20 to 8. Look at the speed of it moving in. You can literally just watch it moving up. Ugh. And that's going up a gradient as well. That's that is crazy. insane. Yeah, look. Wow. There you go, it's pretty much come over the top now. Just like that, it's gone. Still about an hour and a half. It's a high tide, but look at how much water has come in.
This is what it's looking like at 5.33 in the morning. It's just gone low tide, as you can see. So when we went to bed last night, this was all completely covered with water up to, well, yeah, right up to the beach, to be honest. So now look how far out it is. It's pretty incredible. It's a special, special night. So, so peaceful and tranquil here. Coffee would be so good right now, but <clears throat> I've seen the uh, state of the toilet, so probably gonna try and hold off on that front. It's now 10.43 a.m. and the tide is pretty much at its highest, so second high tide of the trip here. Tried a little bit of fishing, but no joy. You could see quite a few bass following the laws in, but don't seem to be wanting to take it at the moment, but never mind. So we're just chilling out, waiting for the tide to drop back out and then we'll start the walk back probably at about 3 p.m. So we've got all morning and early afternoon here. Where are they? There they are. Look, yeah. they're all down here. Oh, look, 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 Back in a hurry. Thank <laughs> you. 
And this is the powder room, is it? Mm -hmm. In there, you go in that one, I've got that. Are these separate rooms? Yeah, it's a. Oh, what's that? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, that thing there, I don't know what's going to happen, I'm going to have to have a word wow. with that fire, because that's a little storage. Oh, you can feel the, br the draft. Oh, you can feel the draft. Oh, you can feel the draft. We got thunder. We're heading home, boys and girls. There she goes. See you, Seymour. I can't believe the difference in a day from when we got here yesterday to leaving today. It's crazy. The walk begins. 40 minutes in the rain. What a trip though, what a weekend. It was amazing. Not too eventful, so probably won't be the most entertaining video you'll watch, but give you a little taster of what it might be like to stay there for the night so if anyone gets the chance to go and stay there absolutely do it it is well worth it even when the weather isn't quite the best it's still pretty special to be out here thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next one just gonna say a special thank you for all the drone footage that go follow Capture box on Instagram. I've now been on Seymour Tower for 14 days. We've run out of water, food. My wife is very ill now. I'm contemplating eating a leg.